Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about not being broke in your 30s. What a misery when you just turn 30 and you've got nothing to your name. You've not achieved anything. All you've been doing is wasting, wasting and wasting your money every single day in your 20s. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that are very financial literate, very sensible, very educated and people who just save and, you know, become successful when they're in their 20s. However, there are many, many, many of us that do not follow and are not financially literate in their 20s. So this video is targeted to anyone just coming out of university, just turning 20, in their mid 20s, who wants to know how to be financially literate and not to be broke when they reach 30. In the modern days, a lot of people waste their money every single day. They go out to eat a hundred times a week. Well, let's not say a hundred, let's say seven times a week, going out to eat every single day, going to party every single weekend, wasting their money and hundreds of dollars. And now I know a lot of you are quite successful in your careers, whether you're starting a new job, whether you just finish university and become a doctor, lawyer, etc. All you know is how to work. And what you do not know is how to be sensible when it comes to your finances. In school, they don't teach us how to manage our finances, how to become more sensible with our money. So this is where we come in. This is where people with experience come in. This is where we should learn every single day on how to achieve the best financial position in our 20s, to set us up for our 30s and to be able to retire as early as we want. So let's get to it. Number one, make a budget. You may have heard this a million times on finance YouTube channels. Making a budget is the most important factor in your financial success, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s or 50s. What is a budget? A budget helps you track your income and your expenses. Every single penny is expensed for. It is written down and accounted for. Everything that you do has been tracked. This is where you can review at the end of the month where you're spending too much and how to cut down and how to diversify and save that money and have a positive balance at the end of the month. The easiest step is to start by making a list of your utility bills, your rent, your main expenditure, and then moving on from there, your leisure activities. So whether it's going out, how much you go out, you can track this. Data is important. Whether it's when you go to the gym and tracking your calories, it's the same as your budget when it comes to your finances. We care more about the gym, which is not a bad thing, and tracking our calories and macros, etc. But we care less about our own finances. We just spend like there's no tomorrow. Remember, the chances of you living tomorrow are higher than the chances of you dying. Therefore, live like there is a tomorrow and save like there is a tomorrow. So you can enjoy yourself when you're older. Set financial goals. That's number two. The second most important for making a budget. Whether it's your first job or you're a bit further down in your career or whether you've just graduated from university or you've enhanced your career level to a managerial position, for example, if you haven't gone to university. If you know your financial goals for your 20s, the habits that you learn from this period of time will be implemented in future and you can be more successful in the long term. Whether it's paying off your credit card, that's a first financial goal, for example, or whether it's actually uh, saving for a down payment on a house. These are all important factors to consider and these goals should be written down and should be worked towards every single day. E.g. once you've made your budget, following on to the financial goal, you see that you've got, for example, £100 or $100 left at the end of the month. Save that towards your financial goal. Hopefully it's more than $100. I believe in your 20s, you should start saving for your retirement and to be investing into those financial goals, especially at the age of 57 plus when you can pull out from a private pension. For example, if you're on a very nice salary of £4,000, this is targeted to young professionals. After tax, you're on about £3,000. You've budgeted really, really well according to point number one and now you're on point number two and you've got about £1,000 left. £1,000 left, half of it should be saved towards an emergency fund. Once the emergency fund is done, you can then diversify to stocks and uh, shares ISAs. And also £500 should be saved towards a private pension. If you keep doing this for the next 27 years or 37 years or 40 years, 
you'll be a millionaire when you retire. You don't want to be poor when you retire. So think about this now when you're 20s and not to be broke in your 30s, 40s, 50s and beyond. Avoid debt. That's number three. It is so important to avoid consumer debt because consumer debt is killing mankind. We are spending money that we don't have on material goods that depreciate in value within seconds of using them. Therefore, use debt wisely. Use a 30 years fixed interest mortgage or variable interest mortgage over 30 years to invest in property, for example. If you've got £20,000 in your bank, buy a £100,000 flat somewhere in the UK or in USA or wherever you are in the world on a 30 years fixed mortgage. Rent it out. Invest your money because these will all pay returns. So not all debt is bad, but you know what type of debt I'm talking about. You guys are not silly. Avoid personal debt. And I know many, many young people in their 20s take out payday loans just to go out to party. I've tried it myself and I didn't like the results, but at least I only did it once or twice. I learned very early on within my early 20s, paid it off, never did it again. But I know these haunting payday loans are haunting people just while they're 35 and when they took it out when they're 20 because their interest is so high. 500%, 1000%, whatever it may be. So avoid debt. Avoid taking out a BMW on finance in your 20s. Save that money. Invest it like we've mentioned because you'll be able to buy that beautiful BMW and afford it in your 30s. Now, the most fun part of it all is increasing your income. This is the next point. This is very important because you want to set yourself down a career path in your 20s, whether it be in your own business and increasing it, its value and increasing its profits, or whether you are in a career and you want to excel in your career. So increasing your income is very important in your 20s. You start off at £30,000. When you finish by 29, you want to be on £70,000. There are ways to do this in your career itself or having a side hustle. Now, many of these factors we'll be talking about in other videos, and we have mentioned these in previous videos, which the links will be down below in the description. But increasing your income is important. Not only does it give you more budgeting power, but you're also more happier because you're a bit more richer. You're earning more than your friends. So grind and hustle in your 20s to not be broke in your 30s. Remember, we're mentioning 30s because this is the topic of the video. Now, this can be applied in the future. Whatever you learn in your 20s, can be applied into any age afterwards. So be wise, increase your income, avoid debt, pay off any debts, budget and set financial goals. These are the most important things that I advise for anyone in their 20s to do and to become successful in their 30 years and beyond. So remember, save, 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 invest, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle. Don't be a victim, become a hero, become a lion. Do what your friends are not doing. If they're in Mykonos or if they're in a club, you're at home. You're saving money because you're going to thank yourself when you're 30. And you're going to thank me when it's time because no one else has told you this. Enjoy later on. You're still young in your 30s. So 20s, work and hustle. No one's saying don't enjoy. But do it once in a while. It's more fun. When people see you every weekend, they'll get sick of you. But when they know that big boy's coming down, out to the club, out to party, out to relax with their friends, that once in a blue moon, they know he's coming out and they're going to have fun. That's what I used to do in my 20s. My friends never saw me in my 20s, once in a blue moon, and they had more fun with me in the 20s. They didn't get sick of me. I didn't get involved in gossip and troubles with friendship groups, etc. I was focusing on myself. I got married, I got a family, and I got more responsible. So another thing, bonus tip, if you feel like you're responsible enough, Get married because it's going to make you more responsible when you know you have to bring food on the table every day. So remember, don't be broke in your 30s. Be rich in your 30s. Hustle in your 20s. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you feel like this information is benefiting you, subscribe and like for the algorithm. And I look forward to producing more content like this in the future. Thank you very much. 